Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're doing well. Um, someone in the comments section of one of my videos said, did I know that Boxing News, the trade paper in, in the UK, the weekly weekly publication, um, has been bought by ID Boxing? And I thought, really? I didn't know that. Maybe he knows something I don't. So I went over and checked, and yes, it has been bought by ID Boxing. Shout out to whoever that was. I can't remember your name, but well done for putting it out to me. Um, for those that don't know, Boxing News, it started in 1909. It is a, has been for decades, well, for, well, over a century, a brilliant, brilliant magazine full of terrific journalism, you know, well-written, objective, um, no-nonsense reports and articles, fascinating articles, even now. I mean, there was a, I've just finished reading this week, and um, there was an article on Tom Palmer, who was a, one of the, the original, or very, very early, um, bantamweight world champs from, from London. Um, you know, so you get all the history, you get the up-to-date stuff. And I thought, ID Boxing have bought it. Well, ID Boxing's only been going for a couple of years. In actual fact, I checked, and ID Boxing started off in the summer of 2022. So it's brand new, you know, brand spanking, still gleaming. Um and I thought, OK, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because whenever a publication changes hands, it, you, you wonder about its how safe it is. But I like ID Boxing. And Rob Tebbett is one of the few people who came from that sort of YouTube, stick a camera in your face and ask questions routine that I consider to be, you know, a serious operator. Uh, he comes across as being highly intelligent. He comes across as being a proper journalist. Most people who have YouTube channels are not proper journalists. Most of them, they've got the camera, they meet a star, they've got stars in their eyes, they ask them banal questions. Rob Tebbett seemed like someone who wasn't in any way intimidated or starstruck by anyone. He would ask the questions that we as fans want asked. So I like Rob Tebbett a lot. I always have done. And I debox him. Um, it's a good channel. It's, it's a very good channel. Um, and the people at Boxing News, I mean, Matt Christie is the, the current editor. You know, Harry Mullen was a fantastic former ed editor. Um, they've, they've had some great ones, some really great ones. Uh, he seems quite happy about this. He seems to think this is, this is a good thing. Now, I've got no complaint about moving with the times, okay? I understand that we all have to adapt and change or we die, okay? But as someone who long predates the Internet and someone who grew up reading boxing news and I mean, Christ, I, I, I predate VHS tapes, you know, <laughs> never mind DVDs, never mind the Internet. Um, and you had to, you know, dig out the really go and dig out information about boxes and boxing. I read loads of books and all this. And you know what? It was a real education. It was it, it was an education. It wasn't just like watching a few YouTube videos and thinking you know it all. You had to read things. Then you'd read something that contradicted and other things. You had to go away and do do a little bit of you know, minor research. It, it was a great way of falling in love with boxing. And of uh, the reason I still love boxing all these decades later is because you know I, I had that schooling. It was great, and I, I had you know encouragement from a grandfather and you know all the usual stuff. But I, I, I love reading about boxing. I still buy boxing news. Like I just said, I you know, just finished reading this week's. And the reason I love it is because, because of that reason. When you read an article, it draws you in. It's suddenly like you're in that world. It's suddenly like you're, you, you know, you, you, you're, you're there or, or, you, or you, you get to know a fighter. You know, know, know them mentally. I mean, obviously, this is, this is not really true, not, not fully true. But it's a damn sight better for me personally, than just hearing someone ask banal questions and, you know, that you already know the answer to and people give pat answers. Um, and, of course, you know, proper proper journalists, proper boxing journalists, proper any journalist will do a bit of investigative stuff and uh, dig out things about, you know, certain skullduggery that goes on and they will, you know, um, they will be a voice, if you like, for the fans who prior to the internet, had absolutely no voice. So I do hope that whatever ID Boxing has, whatever plans they have for Boxing News, they're not going to do away with the hard copy. Even if they stop putting it in shops, I hope you can still order it online, you know, and, and get it delivered to your door, as a lot of people do. I don't. I go down a shop and 
I mean, shops themselves are disappearing, aren't they? The, old, the news agent isn't quite as frequent, uh, or they're not frequent, um, as um, as familiar as it used to be, as 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 plentiful. I mean, a lot of them closed, haven't they? These news agents. It's a real shame. And you used to be able to go to a news agent, and you'd see, as well as the cigarettes and the sweets and everything, you'd see, you know, ma- ma- <laughs> racks of magazines. Well, magazines are becoming passe. You know, they the internet has taken over. Digital age has taken over. Okay, I get it. We go with the times, but I really, really, really hope that they still do the hard copy because I love that paper. It was a thrill, you know, going down there every every. It used to be Friday. Now they release it on a Thursday, and getting the the boxing news, you know, seeing it on the shelf and grabbing it, and I'd walk along the street reading it, bump, you know, apologising for bumping into people. I'd, I'd, I'd bump into a lamppost and apologise, you know. It's, it was almost a second nature thing because I was so busy in, engrossed in this magazine, you know, fantastic stuff. The pictures are great, and, you know, and I really hope that continues. It wasn't just boxing news, by the way. Of course, we got, got, we got The Ring, which came after, was it 1920-something, The Ring? I don't know. After boxing news, 1909 boxing news started. Um, and then you also had, uh, you know, World Boxing was one and KO Magazine and, you know, lots, the Americans did a lot of them. But by the time they came over to Britain, they were a couple of months old. And even before the Internet, you knew the score that, you know, you knew what had happened and you, it was old news sort of thing. But they were good magazines. I read them anyway. And of course, the books, the spin offs, you know, Boxing News Annual, the Re- Ring Record record book was great. And there was the, I think it was the British Boxing Border Control yearbook. Um, fantastic! I think it was Bob Mead did that. That fantastic stuff, brilliant. Oh, you, 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 this was obviously before box wrecks. So you'd read down all the, you know, the fighters' records, and you'd absorb it. And who fought? Oh, he fought him. Wow, that was a good win. And oh, but hang on a minute, he was past it. And so your brain is ticking, and you, you're educating yourself to the game. You know, that's why I think magazines like Boxing News, books, they're important. You know, the digital age is great. I, I mean, I'm, I'm on the digital age. I'm on a, I've am on got a YouTube channel. I'm not knocking it. But to be fully educated in the history of the sport and to understand the modern game and how it evolved, where it came from, you do need that sort of um, proper, almost apprenticeship, you could say, in, in knowledge. Um, so what do you think? Do you buy Boxing News? Do you buy it online? You can get it online. Or do you, you know, do you buy the hard copy like me? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what you think about this. I hope it's in good hands. Rob Tebbett, I like him, but please don't get rid of the hard copy. Rob, please, please, please. Let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for your time, as always. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just hit that subscribe button. That'd help us out a lot. And, of course, the like button as well. If you like the video, hit the like button. Appreciate it. Speak soon. Bye for now.